Speaking about functional nutrition, in the field of I have absolutely no conflict of interest in any way, but nevertheless, I also allowed myself to present another new and very interesting biologically active functional supplement or nutraceutical. This is Synthesit, a mineral from an iron cofactor obtained through the simulation of natural endogenous processes. This is a Russian-Swiss development. Priorities are given to our Russian Federation. Considering the characteristics of biochemical reactions, this molecule effectively integrates into iron and other metalloproteins, triggering protective properties at the cellular and tissue levels, which promote renewal, regeneration and restoration of cells. This was conducted in one of the very important, very serious and extremely important medical clinics. The clinical study clearly demonstrates in a comprehensive manner a reliable positive clinical trend. As you can clearly see with the intake of Synthesit, there is a significant improvement in pulse pressure and overall better oxygen delivery. This is an indicator of maximum oxygen consumption, increasing by almost 12% and under control and at the Synthesit level it increases by another 8%. This is the heart rate. Generally speaking, the lower the heart rate, the better the oxygen saturation of cells and tissues. Overall, Synthesit allows for efficient oxygen consumption. Here, a group of athletes and a group of healthy individuals were analyzed. The main target pathogenetic points of application are obvious, as you can see in the background. Synthesit improves both lipid peroxidation indicators and antioxidant defense enzymes. It is gratifying. Synthesit also boosts lipid peroxidation indicators and antioxidant defense enzymes. Cellular target mechanism and thus contributes to reducing cholesterol levels by 35%, triglycerides by 40%, glucose by 35% and liver enzymes by more than 40%. This once again confirms its cellular and tissue point of application, providing crucial evidence for its role in biological processes. One of the properties is the significant improvement of various hemorrheological parameters such as blood flow and viscosity. As I mentioned earlier, when examining the pathogenetic mechanisms of metabolic syndrome, we observe a latent manifestation of hemorrheological syndrome with transcapillary disturbances in more detail and accordingly. Against the background of taking this biologically active component, we observe the aggregation curve, we see its positive dynamics, how aggregation and erythrocyte deformability change before and after intake. And morphologically speaking, in the study of microcirculatory dynamics, what do we observe when we closely examine the functional state of erythrocytes under the high resolution lens of an electron microscope? This involves looking at their detailed structural and functional characteristics, including their behavior and role in the circulatory system. And we see that the tags of erythrocyte aggregation, visible here on the right, show how erythrocytes release their podocytes, how they clump together into rouleau formations, and how the marker of anemia in clinical hemorrheology, known as the sword drop phenomenon, increases making stomatocytes visible and thus more evident and microcirculation is disrupted, platelet aggregation with ADP is impaired, and with synthesis, you see a completely different picture. Here are morphology number two and number three, number two after taking synthesis, and as you can clearly see on the graph, the significant improvement in platelet aggregation and microcirculation in the data as well, indicating a positive effect. Undoubtedly, the mechanism and process of action of this nutraceutical synthesis elixir number one, the premier choice for metabolic syndrome, possesses a protective and complex effect due to the improved transport of blood oxygen in cells and tissues and its implications and benefits. It possesses immunomodulatory properties, stimulates the regeneration of tissues and organs, and reduces inflammation by affecting enteroleukins, interferons, antioxidants, membrane stabilizing, anti-inflammatory, and antifibrotic manifestations, which contribute to reducing hypoxia, thus it becomes activated.
Hemohiological properties improve significantly due to the enhancement of the zeta potential of erythrocyte and platelet deformability, as I demonstrated in the previous slides. And this positively affects the regulation of mitochondrial energy metabolism and efficiently impacts the overall process. Thus, undoubtedly, the mechanism of action of such a complex in metabolic syndrome allows us to carry out preventive measures in a comprehensive and effective manner to improve overall health and well-being. And here is the recommended dosage. It is advised to take it on an empty stomach at least 15 minutes before meals as a biologically active supplement. For individuals over 18 years old, take 10 drops under the tongue once a day. And of course, the duration should be at least 20 days. These are the guidelines, or rather, the benchmarks. In each specific case, dear colleagues, you approach each patient in a personalized, individual manner and respected. And the complex of therapy he needs, including various intraceuticals and other probiotics, such as prebiotics, is selected individually. In this presentation, in my lecture, I have provided you with guidelines based on those disorders, targeted disorders, and pathogenetic mechanisms. But each patient has their own manifestations, therefore, once again, personalized therapy is fundamental in the management strategy for a patient with metabolic syndrome. Thank you very much for your attention. And to conclude our conference today, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to move on to the closing remarks.